Enterprise content management for IBM can solve many different business challenges. Today we will focus on the capabilities for advanced case management and how, when coupled with IBM Content Navigator, they can be used for unemployment and retraining services provided by the government. In today's video, the government's Unemployment Benefits Program has been enhanced to assess applicants for new retraining programs just made available. Carly Adams is an unemployment specialist responsible for evaluating new unemployment benefit requests, while Dave Inman is a training specialist working with the unemployed. Behind the scenes, Paula Small, the business analyst, has redefined and enhanced the unemployment benefits process to include this new retraining assessment. We begin with Carly reviewing and validating the new applicant's identity prior to assessing the new applicant's retraining options. She then splits the case in order to complete the processing of the request for unemployment benefits in a timely manner. Carly reviews her in-basket and sees that several high-priority new applicant work items await her action. Carly selects the first work item. Carly reviews the case information, noting that no identification validation is included for this applicant. Prior to contacting the applicant to validate identity, Carly searches government archived information to determine if client validation ID is already in the repository. Carly has completed an advanced search based on the applicant's social security number and search results show that a driver's license for the applicant has been found in the government repository. Carly adds the driver's license directly into the case file. We see that she has a wide range of additional actions that she could take in working with this document. Carly reviews the driver's license. Viewing capabilities enable her to annotate comments directly on the image. Upon completing identity validation, Carly was returned to her in-basket where, based on the new solution enhancements, she has received a new task to assess the applicant's retraining options. By using a government-generated form-driven checklist and defined business rules, background information has automatically been retrieved from the government repositories. This content has been used to assess retraining options. This information will be added to the case as supporting documentation and a training specialist will be automatically assigned. With the assessment completed and reviewed, Carly adds a comment to the case documenting that the case will be split for processing. Splitting the case enables Carly to complete processing of unemployment benefits while initiating a new longer running case to assess additional retraining options for the applicant. Carly reviews case content and selects to have these documents included in the newly created split case. Carly utilizes the case visualizer capability to review the status of her work activities and the processing of the unemployment benefits case. Carly does one final review of the case history and completes processing of the case. After ensuring identity validation, Carly completed a retraining assessment for the new applicant and proceeded to split the case for the training specialist. But how did she get here? Let's look at the business analyst Paula Small. Paula is responsible for the unemployment benefits solution for the government. As such, she has used IBM Case Builder to define the unemployment benefits solution that is currently in place. With the new program to provide retraining for applicants, she has enhanced the solution to include the assessment to identify retraining options. So let's see at a high level what she's done. To enhance the process, Paula selects the unemployment benefits solution one of the many case solutions the government has created. IBM Case Builder enables Paula to use a step-by-step -step approach to edit the solution. She could deploy and test her enhancements to a sandbox environment prior to handing it over for full deployment to a staging or production environment. IBM Case Builder provides tabs for each of the different parts of the solution. Tabs include properties, roles, in baskets, document types, pages, and case types. Paula defines and adds the new training specialist role to the unemployment benefits solution. One of the aspects of the design environment for IBM Case Builder is that Paula is able to define and customize the user interface based on user role. This enables her to maximize her knowledge worker's productivity. Here we see that specific properties have been added to the in-basket for the training specialist. 
In completing her enhancements for the retraining options assessment, Paula has dynamically defined new business roles using straightforward if-then-else business logic as part of the process and workflow definition. By using the task manager, Paula is able to define and specify required and discretionary tasks that are part of the solution. Paula adds new preconditions, technical skills, as part of the new task being defined. Here we can see that Paula has successfully added the newly required Assess Retraining Options task as part of the solution. From here, she has defined the workflow, properties, etc. associated with this new task, committed the changes, and proceeded with deployment. By using IBM Case Builder, Paula has implemented the enhancements required for the unemployment specialist to assess retraining options for the new applicants as part of the unemployment benefits solution. So let's take a look at the training specialist split case created earlier. Dave is an experienced training specialist. He begins by reviewing new applicant information contained in the case or located in government repositories. Based on applicant discussion, he reviews supporting documentation in order to add new tasks required to meet retraining requirements. Upon completion, he processes updates to the case. Dave, using his iPad, sees a number of new work items awaiting his action. He opens the work item for Karen Grant, a newly unemployed applicant, which he received as part of the split case from the unemployment specialist. Upon opening the case, Dave sees a summary of case information and a set of documents which he will review. He starts with the checklist assessment document that was automatically added to the case. Dave completes a quick review of the Assess Retraining Options checklist before proceeding. Prior to contacting the client, Dave initiates an advanced search for any related cases, using client information to guide the search. Dave's search returns several related cases for this applicant. He reviews the case history for each of these related cases. Based on the wealth of applicant knowledge he has gained, Dave contacts the client and discovers the need for a STEM training assessment. Needing guidance for a STEM training assessment, Dave searches for reference information stored within the government's assessment repository, where various reference documents are organized and maintained. Dave locates the guidelines document that has the information he needs. Directly from here, he can perform many action items. He opens the document to view the contents. Straight from within the web client, Dave views the document via the Zero Footprint Document Viewer without having to wait for download times or going through the process of getting additional software, Dave is able to get the information he needs straight from within the web client. Dave has completed his review of the STEM training assessment guidelines and proceeds to add a new ad hoc task to request a STEM training assessment. Dave completes processing of this new task, assigning it to the STEM training specialist and adds this task to the case. Prior to processing, Dave does a final review of the case via the History tab. He sees all the comments and actions, including the new ad hoc task, included as part of the case. He completes his review and completes processing. In today's video, we've seen how an unemployment specialist and a training specialist used enhancements in the Unemployment Benefits Solution to identify training for the unemployed to make them better prepared for new employment opportunities. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.